Assalamu alaikum again. Here I am again with the new exciting topic that is speech. Yes, it's your unit number 16. On this page, you can see that it's a topic of the speech. What do you mean by the speech? Yes, exactly. When we are talking to someone or someone is talking to us. Now, in the present, in the past or in the future, all these things timings tell us some kind of a speech but how we are going to categorize speech in grammatical errors in grammatically we see that a speech is of two kinds that is direct speech and indirect speech so what do you mean by the direct speech direct means when we repeat anyone's words exactly when we talk about someone's speech in the same way as he or she has said this is the direct way of talking and what do you mean by the indirect the original words of the speakers are changed it means that original words are changed obviously I am talking about the speakers words are changed so what do you mean by this this tells us for example in this image you can see that I have hurt my leg she is talking that I have hurt my leg so how she said or he said I have hurt my leg. I am just simply talking about exactly what he or she has said. It means that I am talking about his speech directly. So this is the direct way. What is the indirect way? For example, one more example is here for you. She said, I am painting. She said that she was painting. If I changed her words, but according to her, I am supposed to giving the same speech in my way. I am talking in the same way. But I have changed the speech of the person, of the speaker. That she said that she was painting. This is the indirect way of talking to someone. Whether I have used her speech after few days or after few minutes. So it will be definitely changed. And I am talking to someone else obviously because in the direct speech the someone is talking to us directly. And while we are giving or conveying the message of this first person to the third person, we are talking in an indirect speech. So this tells us that while we are talking to somebody that is the third person here is indirect. Yes, have a look on this image again. Do you like my new trousers? The girl is talking to other girl and the other girl is saying, mm, yes, I think that she doesn't like. But she is here now telling. Now she is sharing her point of view to the third person after maybe few days or after an hour or after the few minutes. But how she is sharing? She said, she asked me if I liked her trousers. Yes, this is indirect speech. They were horrible. Even she didn't like. But at that time, she is just converting her speech into indirect form. That's the indirect pattern. So direct and indirect differs. How? Let's see some more things for you. In the direct speech, we come to know one more important point. That is that the direct speech is divided into two main parts and that is the reported speech and reporting speech. Now what do you mean by this reported and reporting? Let's see. If I am giving you one example here like Rahat said Rahat said said what? Rahat said I have a headache. I have a headache. So, if she had a headache, 
what is the matter? Rahat said, I have a headache. This is the direct form. How we are going to divide it according to reported and reporting the speech? Yes, the person who is reporting means who is giving a report is the reporting speech. And the dialogues or the wordings that have been used by that person is the reported speech. Now this is your reported speech. How you will see this? See, Rahat said, Ali said, Akbar said, they said, we said, Alia said, all these subjects while using any of the words, this is the reporting speech. Have you seen on the channels that if someone, a journalist is while reporting, he or she is saying, hello, I am Al Alina reporting, Alina reporting, Akbar reporting. All these are the very clear examples from our daily life that we come to know that while someone is saying he or she is reporting us. So this is going to be your reporting speech and the sayings are our reported speech. So this is your reporting and reported speech. What will be the indirect form of this? Let's see. Rahat said that always use a that after dividing it into indirect form. Rahat said that he had a headache. So uh, we have changed this have into had. How? Let's see some more examples like some points have been given on page number 225. These points are very important to listen. Listen them. There is no comma after set. We all know. Number two, the inverted commas are removed while we are converting them into indirect speech. Number three point, the verbs has and am have become had and was because we are bound to change the present into past. So while we are using any present, we will change it into past. The pronoun I has become he and she. So these points are important for us. Have a look on page number 226. Here are some more points given to you. How? Remember boys and girls that there is no change of verb for present or future tense. Because if the present has been given, so you can change it into indirect speech by using your present tense and future. For the future, there is no tense of verb has been changed. So how we are going to change the present into past? Let's see. While uh, there is any of the word that has been given to you in the present, how you are going to change it? Am will be changed to was. Right? Then has will be changed to had. Then will will be changed to would then can will be changed to could moreover if we talk about may that may I help you might yes you have to change them accordingly and this is what we are talking about but if they has been given to you in the present, you are consistently using them in the present. There is no need to change them and always use the third form of the verb with them. Don't forget to use the third form. Let's see some simple past changes to past perfect. She said she wrote a book. If she said she wrote a book, she said that she had written a book. This is a change. I have used has here, she wrote a book, but I haven't changed it into has. I have to change it into had because simple past changes to past perfect. Yes, had helping verb. So let's see on page number 226. Here are some more examples for you. Exercise number one will tell us that how to change the direct speech into indirect. Let's see. He said, the film is interesting. How you are going to change it? He said that. First take the word that in between that. Because after that, it is very easy to clear all the inverted commas. Because we are moving towards the indirect speech. He said that the film 
was interesting because I have changed the present into past. Yes, so be careful about one more thing that if they have given you he said. So this word help us to change the further sentence into which tense. This point comes to you in your mind first that how we will be able to identify that whether we are going to use the past tense or the present. So you will follow this. If there has been given, he says, then there is no need to change the further sentence because you can use it as it is. It's already in present, then why we are going to change it? But if said has been given to you, then it means that the rest of the sentence will be changed accordingly. So let's see more examples. Number two, I have forgotten to bring my lunch with me, he said. It's again past because he said, he said that he had forgotten to bring his lunch with him. Got it? Pronouns will be also changed accordingly. Number three, Anna said, I am waiting for the cap. Anna said that she was waiting for the gap. So exercise number two will be done in the same way. But what we are going to do here, change the indirect speech into direct speech. Some indirect sentences have been given to you and you have to change it into direct. How? Let's see. Number two, Seema told me that the teacher had left the school early. Seema said to me, the teacher has left the school early. So the rest of the sentences will be done by you in the same way. Time for a diary. Dear students, please complete the given sentences which I haven't completed because I want you all to please complete according to the given lecture. Please keep on working on them because this is the most important part of your sentences. You should know how to change active into passive and how to change direct into indirect. So keep on working them. Stay blessed. Allah Hafiz.